who runs the boarding schools? At that time, it was the Bureau of Indian Affairs. And who ran the social services program? It was the Bureau of Indian Affairs, and the Bureau of Indian Affairs was adopting the kids off the reservation. They had like a registry of people seeking to adopt children, and fed into that registry were all these Indian kids that these private agencies were grabbing every which way they could possibly grab them. And the whole goal was to place these kids with white families as far from the reservation as they possibly could. 25 to 35% of all American Indian children were removed from their homes. 90% of those children were in non-native families. But you might not know if you're a tribal community in Michigan and a tribal community in Washington State that both of those tribal communities are experiencing the same levels of disproportionate removal until native women start organizing. How does the Department of Welfare justify taking children away from their families? We have a lot of questions against uh, the welfare ourselves. It is a little known fact that you people can keep your children if you want them. We want our children and our grandchildren, but we are not allowed to keep them. I hope that you'll stop and think and help us to do something about it. So these women went to New York and then they went to Washington, D.C. Uh, and they, were, they testified before Congress. Did the welfare department prove that you weren't being the best mother? Well, they, they always come to me and said that I wasn't, I wasn't a very good mother and everything, and that my children would be better off if they were in a white home or if they were adopted out, and that this home, wherever they were, that would buy them all the stuff that I couldn't give them and give them all the love that I could never give them. We found that it was a uh, serious problem in Indian country. Officials would seemingly rather place Indian children in non-Indian settings where their Indian culture, their traditions, and the entire Indian way of life is smothered. The federal government, for its part, has been conspicuous by its lack of action. 